All right, so this is probably the best part of today's event, and that is the panel of parents that have been in the program uh, that you are all a part of, okay? Uh, you'll notice that we've got families up here who are both in Welcome Baby and the home visiting programs. They will be talking about their experiences and then ultimately um, we'll open it up for an open forum so you guys have an opportunity to ask questions as well. So this uh, panel is gonna be moderated by Lily. Shout out to Lily over there. Everybody knows Lily, clinical director from MCH Access and myself. And then uh, first and foremost, we'd love if, the, uh, if you guys could introduce yourselves by telling us your name. If you could tell us your child's name, age, and uh, what part of, which, part, uh, which program you were a part of. So Alma, we can start with you, and then you have a mic right there, and you can speak right into that and then pass it along. Um, hi, is it on? No. Is it? Okay. Um, hi, good evening. My name is Alma Riza. My daughter, her, um, her name is Erin, and currently she's four, and I receive services through Welcome Baby. Great, thank you. Welcome, Alma. Daniela? Hi, my name is Daniela. Uh, my babies are twin girls, Hope and Faith, seven months old. And I receive services from parents as teachers. I think she has something to say as well. What did you say? Hi, my name is Leslie, and this is my mom, Bernice Ortiz. And this is my baby sister, Mylin, and she's 11 months old. Thank you. My name is Kamesha Skin. This is Candice Skin. And she is two years old. We were a part of the Welcome Baby program. I am her husband, Damien. <laughs> And this is Kaylee. Um, she's one year old. We were part of the Welcome Baby program. Hi, I'm Jolie Jamison. Um, my daughter is in the program. She's uh, 21 months, actually, and um, I'm a part of the home visiting program. <laughs> Hello, I am Laquita. This is my daughter, this is Alyssa. She's six months and we are a part of Welcome Baby. Hola, mi nombre es Rosario. Uh, mi niña tiene 18 meses. Hello, my name is Rosario and my girl, she's 18 months. Y su nombre es Kaylee Bautista y está en el programa desde she's, que nació. She's in the program since she was born. That's all, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, it's so inspiring having you all here today. Um, this really keeps us all going, doing the work we do. So I, the first question I want to ask all of you is why you decided to enroll in the home visiting program that you are a part of. Um, so we'll start with Alma. It's on its way. Oh, um. I actually arrived from Mexico about a, a month later, and that's when I tried to receive services from the clinic, and they offered me the program Welcome Baby. And at that moment, I feel like I couldn't, I couldn't find myself. I felt like I was lost. So I felt like I might as well give it a chance, since I was pregnant, I knew I couldn't find a job. And they offered me the program, and that's how I just started receiving the services when I was pregnant. I was three months pregnant. Great, thank you. So prenatally. So you were approached in a, a clinic by someone? Great, thank you. Go outreach, woo woo. Uh, when I had my twins, um, I was afraid, like I thought I wasn't be able to handle it. So someone offered me welcome baby and then in the hospital someone uh, offered me to move, gave me the option to move to parents as teachers. So I thought it was going to work better for me and that's how I started this program. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> She's ready to give, give her answer. 
Well, in actuality, my mom actually didn't want the program at first when they approached her in the clinic because we're very like, no, it's it's free. It's probably nothing good. It's going to cost something. She was like, no, it's too good to be true. No, I don't need it. But since um, before her, I was the youngest daughter. It's been 15 years. So when she was born, she was the one looking for the agent from the Welcome Baby program. She was like, no, please, what were you offering me, this, this and that? Because it, it had been so much time, she forgot how to do many things. She was afraid that she might like hurt the baby. Because since I was born in another country, we were raised a little different. So she was like, what if I hurt her? No, no. So then at the end, it turns out, she was the one that was looking for the program because she thought it was very beneficial. That's great. Thank you so much. Well, I was at a baby shower at Mend, and I saw, well, I was reading some flyers that they were giving out, and I saw, welcome, baby. So I was like, OK, I would like to be a part of welcome, baby. <laughs> Who wouldn't want their baby to be welcomed? <laughs> so I, um, then they had a presenter presenting on Welcome Baby, and I found it interesting, so I signed up. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, my daughter, from the time I had the first contraction until she came out, was like less than two hours. So I was really surprised by it, but um, I was approached by someone in the hospital, and um, the way she explained the program, it, it made me interested in it. And um, so I signed up for it, and within a week or two after I came home from the hospital, I had my first home visit. And from that first home visit, because of um, the counselor that they gave me, she was so amazing to me, and it made me want to continue the program. So because of that, I continued on, and here I am two years later, and I still love it. So I would recommend it to anybody. Amazing. Thank you. OK. Where do I start? <laughs> um, I've always saw Welcome Baby everywhere. And I actually have an older child. I have an older girl. She's nine years old. I just remember I was about five months pregnant with Alyssa, and work wasn't going well. Um, I was having problems in my relationship. Like, I was at a point where I was literally depressed. But I was still open-minded. And I remember walking into my daughter's school and seeing the brochure in the office. I just picked it up, didn't think anything of it. When I got home, I called and, um, you know, I told them I was interested. Within maybe an hour, I received a call back from a lovely girl named Jessica. What's up? I love you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and when I talked to her, I told her I wasn't feeling well. So she said, well, I'm going to call you back just to check in. Around the time she called back was the same time I had to go pick up my daughter. And I said, you know what? I still don't feel right. Something doesn't feel well. But I'm on my way to pick up my daughter. I have to get her. No one else can. And she said, well, I'm going to check in with you again. I'm just going to make sure you're OK. She didn't even get a chance to. I um, actually blacked out on my way to pick up my nine-year-old from school. Wow. And um, when I'm when I got picked up from the paramedics, the afternoon one to go, I said memorial. And I knew that there was an office there. So knowing that, I knew it was a possibility I could meet Jessica. And with me admitting to Long Beach Memorial, sure enough, she showed up in my room and made sure I was OK. So for me to find out that she was just an intake you know, personnel, she wanted to make sure that I was perfectly fine. She wasn't even my case manager. I said, you know what, this is the route to go. So. Um, welcome, baby. Yay, thank you. Bueno, a mí me tocó la experiencia de, de solo firmar en el hospital y nunca supe realmente que era el programa. <laughs> to me, I was only in the hospital to sign up. I didn't even know that was a program. Y cuando llegaron de visita en la casa y me explicaron La verdad, estábamos pasando por una situación muy difícil. And then when they come to the house and they explain it to me, in realidad, we really had a difficult, a difficult situation. Um, Kaylee, mi bebé, es mi cuarto bebé. Kaylee is my fourth baby now. Y, y lamentablemente estábamos muy desconsolados porque estábamos a punto de perder el apartamento. And we were very upset at the time and sad because we were about to lose our apartment. 
y fue prematura, no teníamos preparado nada para ella. It was premature. We didn't have nothing prepared for her. Y con la, este programa que estamos Fuji Family uh, nos apoyó mucho en we, esa tiempo. With this program, Welcome Baby, they support us a lot, all the time. Y nos ha ayudado mucho como padres a aprender muchas cosas para educar a los niños. And they helped us a lot as parents to learn how to educate our children. La verdad, um, recomiendo que que hablemos sobre estos programas, recomendemos a las personas que, que dicen que no tienen tiempo para esto. I, I really tell you that we should recommend these programs, especially for all those people that say that they don't have any time for this. Uh, con mi bebé que tiene año y medio, no veo los avances que de, con nosotros tres babies, no, no era igual. With my baby that I see now at this age, I don't see the advances with my other children like I see with my new baby. Muchísima educación y ayuda para los bebés. A lot of education and help for the babies. Y se los agradezco a tu familia. And I really thank you to all of you, the families. Oh, thank you. Thank you to all of you for your responses. Um, I'm, I'm curious to know, I know we touched upon it, but I'm wondering, how did the program, what are some specific things that your home visitor taught you um, in terms of that you felt were beneficial to you as a parent and to your family. To the Are there specific yes, things that you were taught that you feel like this is really something amazing, it's helping me uh, build my confidence as a parent, building my skills? If you could provide specific examples about that. Alma, go ahead. Um, well, when I first got the, my visit from Denise, that's my parent coach at that time, um, she came in and, she, and even though she, my, it was my second daughter, I assumed that I knew everything already as a parent. But as she was explaining things, she treated me like if I was a first time parent. And that really helped because she took for granted that because I'm a mom, um, I would um, know, every, know at least the basics. She still talked to me, helped me how to breastfeed. That was my biggest challenge. Along with that, she was able to listen to me and hear me out because she did something beyond that. It has changed me a lot. She's that person that listened to me when I was at my worst and suggested for me to go back to school. Something that I saw really impossible and that I'm now grateful for. Thank you for sharing, Alma. Thank you. And a little bit earlier, we heard your story about going back to get your bachelor's and your master's. So everyone's heard about that. So congratulations. Woo! We might, we might be recruiting you for one of our programs. <laughs> Stay in touch. Okay. So, can you please repeat the question again? Sure. I'm, I'm wondering, what is one thing that you feel that your home visitor taught you that was really beneficial towards you and your family? Well, I had my first two children when I was really young. I was 19 and 20. And then when I had the twins, 10 years later, I felt very... I mean, when I had them, I was really immature. I had to work a lot. And then when I had the twins, uh, I thought it was like a mission impossible. So when I, when I met the program and uh, my counselor started like telling me how it was about and um, I felt really encouraged. I felt more confident. I have learned a lot about how to help them develop their brain and a lot, a lot of areas. Uh, I feel encouraged. I breastfeed them up to seven months. Um, and I also felt encouraged to, to make their, their food, like I make their own food myself. Um, and it's a lot, like I cannot say it in few words, everything this program has helped me, my family, my children. Thank you. Thank you. What my mom was mentioning just right now when I asked her the question, she said that the program, one of the things that mo she felt was most important being taught was the, pri <laughs> the priority of having a child. Because when she was pregnant, I even noticed it. Um, I'm home with her a lot, so I noticed her getting depressed. And also, since she felt 
we have, I mean, it was only two of us, my older sister and I, and I, and also, like, she just felt like she knew everything. Like I said, she didn't want the program. But then, like, when Welcome Baby came, she was like, wow, all these things I didn't know about you two, I could have probably made you, a, like, a better childhood. Not, not that we had a bad one, but I mean, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, she felt it was, like, the priority. She was like, I'm trying my best to do the best that's for my baby. So I, I want to suggest it. She, she said that she wants to suggest it to everybody. It's not if you have time or not. It's you have to make time because you have a kid and this kid could be someone really important in life. And that's what the program mostly taught her that there's always a chance and time for something that important. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you, what, what's your name? What's your name? Yes. Leslie. Thank you, Leslie, for translating and, and really speaking for your mom today. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, I'm here thinking, and I, Jessica was my parent coach. She was amazing. She was a wonderful person. I've learned a lot from her. However, I want to share this specific um, problem that I had that she was really there for me. I had Candicia, and I've never had a problem ever. Um, fed her right through with absolutely no problem. However, I got out of the hospital with her, and the Thursday and by Friday, my breast was all engorged. And I'm like, What's wrong? <laughs> it was shocking because it's like I was so dumb <laughs> to knowing about engorgement because I had um, Candice in Jamaica from Jamaica. It's like we don't have that problem. <laughs> so, so when um, when I well I called Jessica and she was like, um, Kamisha, you were engorged. I started researching on it and I was like, oh no, I went to the bathroom. Instructed me on putting some a warm compress on it and massaging it and all of that. And I, she said, if it uh, within certain say a few hours, if it doesn't get better, I should go to the emergency room. And I went, and then welcome baby. Um, she called and somebody came from lactation to me. She was she was a uh, very good support to me right through it and I think I've learned I'm even thinking about having another baby down the road I'm like I will prepare for it for next time like, this will never happen because it was really scary I'm like my breast was hard, very hard and I'm like oh no this is very sad so I <laughs> it was honestly I've learned a lot through this program but that was like a shocker to me and I'm really happy for what you are doing, what you are doing, and all the, all the information you give, <laughs> all the information you give and know about dealing with different situations. Mm -hmm. So I'm really thankful. Thank you. Thank you so much. We actually um, want to make sure that we turn to the audience and so they have an opportunity to ask you actually have time, we have time for two questions. Um, does anyone have a question for anyone on the panel? Charlene and I have lots of questions, so if you don't, we will, we'll step in, but it would be great to have someone from the audience. I would like to know if there's anything else that we could possibly do in the future that you feel would be helpful for other parents. That is such a great reflective question. I love it. <laughs> she has a suggestion. I made it through. I made it through an official channel, which um, Jessica provided. <laughs> Same question: What can we do to improve the program? The program is a very good program, and you know when you get a good 
itch where it really needed. That's what Welcome Baby really is. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, yeah, you're scratching where it itches. So, but I was also, I, something came to my attention. While she was in the hospital, the, the nurse seemed to be using an old wife's tale to, <laughs> to instruct my wife. And I was sitting there, the baby needed the breast, and she was like, oh, don't feed her too much. <laughs> and she was crying, crying, and said, no, this can't be right. And then when the welcome baby representative came, she said, no, put the baby on the breast. Mm. <laughs> the baby needs the breast, feed on demand. And I can't forget that. And when we had the, another um, home nurse came to the house, and the information that she was given, it was new information, it was the current information when I do my own research on certain things, and I realized that probably a clinic from a home baby would be a very good thing because the, the persons who work there are those who uh, have the current information, the update, updated information, and which will serve the families much better in, in those cases. That's a great idea. Woo! A welcome baby clinic. Yeah, thank you. It's inspiring, it's inspiring. And also, I think also giving a lot of credit to those welcome baby nurses that um, are amazing. Do we have a, we have time for one more question? Anybody on this side of the room? For the mom who had a little bit of reservation on enrolling in the program, what would be something for the outreach specialist that maybe we can do to maybe inform more, inform more of the mom about the program and how the program is and what would make them enroll into the program? That's a really good question. So what, what could we do to help um, get the word out there and enroll more people in the home visiting programs that you're a part of. Does anyone? You, Honestly, I don't think there's anything else you all can do. I think that the way that the program is set up and the way that you put out the information in different facilities is perfect. The only thing that could possibly be done any different is putting in random places because that's exactly how I came across or stumbled mm -hmm. across just seeing it sitting somewhere. I think as women, a lot of us are too prideful. Um, we are in situations where the, it, it's not that conventional. Some of us are hard on, them, on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like me, I was very hard on myself. I have two children, no husband. Right. And in my generation, that's kind of not just frowned upon, but you get ridiculed for it. Right. So you kind of close off and then you, you, you go back into your own shell and you think that, you know, I don't deserve help. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve that. You really get hard on yourself. I think if I wouldn't have grabbed that program, I probably wouldn't be here. Like wow. that was my last lifeline. And I think if you just post them just randomly, like right now, put one on the wall. Like a woman probably would just pick <laughs> it up. <laughs> like, you know what? That's what I need. Mean. So wow. I've been doing it perfect. Thank you so much for, thank you, thank you. So we, we would love to keep you longer, but we have to move on. Thank you guys so much for just opening up, being so courageous today, and talking to all of us. Thank you. Another round. You have a standing applause, I think, for these families for being here today. We have uh, a little something for each of you just to express our appreciation, to thank you for, for coming and to help reimburse you for any inconvenience. Uh, again, just want to say thank you so much for the videos that you did with me and for being willing to come all this way and, and speak with us. I know it's not easy. Even if you're next door with a couple babies, it's not easy to make it here. So thank you so much for, for coming. Yeah, one more round of applause. We're just going to give them a couple of things here.